is Wednesday, September 30th, 2020, at 11.25 a.m. All right, let's take a look quickly here at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory uh, Asteroid Watch. It says the next five Earth approaches within 4.6 million miles. We have three asteroids approaching Earth on September 30th, that's today, and two October 1st. Let's take a look here. We have September 30th. We have asteroid 2020 SV5, which is 64 feet in uh, size, about the size of a house. And it is 801,000 uh, miles away from the Earth. Then we have September 30th, 2020 SQ, a 38 feet size asteroid, the size of a bus, which is 1,360,000 miles from the Earth. Then we have September 30th, 2020 SO2, which is 130 feet in size, which is the size of a jet plane, 4,300,000 miles from the Earth. Then October 1st, we have 2020 SM4, which is 33 feet in size, about the size of a bus. That's 1,140,000 miles from Earth. Then we have asteroid 2020 SU5 on October 1st which is 49 feet in size, about the size of a house, and it's 1,290,000 miles from Earth. So the closest one is um, 2020 SV5, which is supposed to pass today, and it's 801,000 miles from Earth. So let's take a look next at the earthquakes. We have some earthquakes happening in California some happening in Oklahoma, a couple happening in Puerto Rico, so it's quiet, it's not that active. There's um, one earthquake happening in Malta, a 4.3 earthquake, a 4.3 magnitude earthquake. Then let's take a look quickly here at Vietnam or Taiwan, a 5.1 earthquake uh, 35 kilometers southeast of Jofen, Taiwan. There's, there's another bigger one, a 5.1, 94 kilometers north-northwest of Hihifo, Tonga, out in the Pacific. So it's not that active. There are some happening, but it's not that active. It's kind of peaceful. All right, so last night was the presidential debate. I'm not going to talk too much politics, but I'm just going to say that I watched 15 minutes of the of the debates, and I was like, nope, too much stress, I'm out. And I've heard other people comment that they had their Fitbits on and their Fitbits told them that their heart rate increased for around 90 minutes. And that's about the time of the presidential debate, 90 or so minutes. And their heartbeats had increased. People have been reporting stress and feeling horrible feelings just watching that debate. Thank goodness I only watched 15 minutes and I was like, nope, I can't take any more. I'm out. I knew that it was going to be a, a wrecker. All right, next, the National Hurricane Center. We have in the Atlantic disturbance one with 10% chance of cyclone formation in 48 hours. A tropical wave located over the West Central uh, Caribbean Sea is expected to move westward over the next couple of days and in, and interact with the frontal system, producing a broad area of low pressure over the Western Caribbean Sea by Thursday night or Friday. Environmental conditions are forecast to become conductive for some development thereafter, and a tropical depression could form over the weekend while the system moves slowly west northwestward over the northwestern Caribbean Sea. Formation chance through 48 hours, low at 10%, and formation chance through 5 days, medium, and 60%. So we got that. I'll show you later in a little bit um, the satellite image. There's some stuff happening here in the middle of the um, Atlantic. Um, it's not named right now because they haven't put an X or anything over it, but it's going to be bringing possible rain to this area if it continues moving westward to the Puerto Rico and Talese, uh Caribbean area if it keeps moving westward. Let's, let's take a look at the Eastern Pacific. We have Marie, Tropical Storm Marie with maximum sustained winds of 55 knots or 65 miles an hour. Minimum central pressure 997 millibars located 14.2 north and 113.8 west. Movement west at 14 knots or 60 miles an hour. Alright, let's open this 
and see where Marie is headed. Alright, Marie is headed to become a hurricane and a major hurricane, then back down to hurricane and then to a storm. So Marie on Thursday will still be a hurricane. On Monday at uh, 6 p.m. a major hurricane. By 6 a.m. on Friday and 6 p.m. on Friday and 6 a.m. on Saturday a major hurricane. And then back down to hurricane status at 6 a.m. on Sunday. And then a storm at 6 a.m. on Monday. Does not look like it's going to be affecting land. Um, it is maximum sustained winds of 65 miles an hour. Moving west at 16 miles an hour. Alright, now let's take a look at Marie over here. And these storms, the disturbance area uh, below Cuba. Alright, let's take a look quickly here at the full Atlantic. This is what I was talking about, that um, it could bring rain to the Caribbean and to the Lesser Antilles. is just some storms popping up. But it does not seem to be com becoming a system yet. But something to keep an eye out here in the Atlantic. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Hit like and subscribe for more news. And see you guys next time. God bless.